You know, a couple points. I don't think he understands the Constitution of the United States. He's the President of the United States. You don't say you'll get your chance. And secondly, under the rules of debate to which he subscribed, and it's been well advertised now, there will be no question of one candidate by the other. He subscribed to that, yet he's a literalist when it comes to the Constitution. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but not, not any deal he's cut. Your thoughts, James? If Mitt Romney were the president and Barack Obama were the challenger and these roles were reversed and, and Obama treated Romney, the president in this construct, the way he was treated, you would have heard an outcry from coast to coast and you would never, ever hear the end of it. It is rude. It's inexcusable, I think. It's a very, very sad day when the presidency, which has been under fire since Nixon, and particularly this president, can be treated this way by someone who is a, an American citizen. Yeah. Well, I think there's a lack of uh, deference. I thought in the first debate, he covered up or masked his lack of deference with some opening cordiality and civility. But through it all, he looked down at the president. He looked down at him as a person. And I think a lot of that, I don't even want to get into it, but we can all imagine what that was based upon, and none of it good.